Hey, Boaz here with Next Pittsburgh. We're here at the Allegheny County Airport to go behind the scenes at the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. So this is where, like, aircraft mechanics learn their skills. We're going to check it out. All right, we're here with Stephen and Lauren. So, Stephen, you help run the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. And, Lauren, you're a student here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a sixth quarter aviation maintenance student, so I'll graduate in March. So I'm coming down to the wire here on my test, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah, stressful day. Okay, well, I'm excited to walk through these doors with you because I see there are airplanes on the other side. That's right. Come on in. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. This is wild. I guess this is an, an airplane hangar, but it's also a classroom. That aircraft right there, uh, the King Air, yeah. we learned about 100-hour inspections, and then we actually performed a 100-hour inspection on that engine. So they're showing us PowerPoints and pictures and videos of stuff that we're going to be learning, and then we actually get to come and do it. And so after you graduate, then you're a mechanic, essentially, for airplanes? Yep, so I'll be an airframe and power plant mechanic. Can you break that down? Air, what does that mean? Right. So airframe would be all the sheet metal and the exterior of your airplanes and the power plants, the engines. And so how long is the program here? So the program here is uh, 21 months. Uh, our students graduate with an associate in specialized technology degree, along with uh, in the maintenance program, as Lauren will get her FAA airframe and power plant certification. Yeah. And essentially, that's what gives them the legal ability to sign off on any of the work that they've completed on an aircraft. Can you show us, like, airplane innards somewhere here? Uh, we actually have some airplane innards over there for you. Uh... That's probably not the real term. Right, so we have <laughs> engines in our engine shop over here. So fourth quarter, you're learning, like, basic engines. So they actually just started last week. They're doing a reciprocating engine overhaul. So they are tearing that engine apart and measuring every aspect of it to make sure that it's within standards. So they'll take these pins out. You can see on the hub, these pins. They'll pull these out and then there's right here, you can see where they're gonna pull all of those blades out and they're gonna inspect them for nicks and cracks because you can't have that kind of stuff when you're actually flying. I mean, the first time you, like, walk in here and walk up to a piece of equipment like this, like, how overwhelming is that? This is, I mean, just looking here, there's, like, a million pieces here. Right. When they tell you, like, this is going to take you 20-some days, you're like, only 20-some days? You're never going to get that accomplished. But honestly, it goes so quickly. We work in groups, so there's, like, four people, so it flies pretty quickly. PIA has been around for a very long time, actually since 1929. Now we've been been at Allegheny it was an Airplane like in 1929. Uh, it was like it was a whole different thing. Mail service, right? Yeah. That's how they got mail from across the country. You were just like sewing new wings, like cloth wings on I that. I wasn't thing. around, yeah, but I'm not sure. But uh, um, yeah, 1929 is when PIA really got started. And then in 1946 is when we established this location. So we've been here on the Allegheny County Airport. Uh, for 77 years. Wow. But we have an extremely strong reputation within the aviation industry for the quality technician that, that uh, uh, sounds a little dry, but that we produce, right? And so do you work for an airline after, generally? Is that how it works? Like you look for a job at Delta or something? Yeah, you can look for jobs at Delta. I've also been exploring some other careers in like manufacturing. So you could be working for like Boeing or something on some of their stuff. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we're checking out Lauren's workstation over here. Yep, so this is our crankshaft, and we just pretty much peel the engine off off of that to leave that left. So we have our crankcase that we took off. Underneath, there's some components. And over here in our cabinets, we have... Oh, wow, lots of little pieces. This is my cylinder. And each there's four people in our group, so each person has their own cylinder. And within the cylinder, we took out all of those components that you'll see in those bins. It is crazy that you see this and you know what to do with it, because it's just like, I don't even know what's happening. Oh, that wasn't it. There was so much theory before we started tearing this apart. So all of our components are in here. We check for roundness and tolerances of everything. So this is the airframe shop. This is where I just finished up. This is your first project. You're given a piece of metal. You have to round the corners and drill the holes. And then you move on to stuff like that one. 
I mean, these are essentially like band-aids for planes. If there's like a part that you need some reinforcement. Each one of the students at uh, this is pretty much their final project within yeah. this uh, uh, part of the curriculum. They create a piece of lap skin using the blueprints and schematics that they're provided. And as she mentioned, graded down to ten thousands of an inch uh, with that. And then they have to put a patch on to that particular piece of lap skin. They have to rivet the patch on, make sure all the rivets are nice and smooth. And then after you do it and then you pass, do you like put that up in your wall, on your wall at home as decoration? Took it home to hang it on my parents' refrigerator, Did of you? course. Yeah. <laughs> In this quarter, you also get to build a wing. They used to do them wooden, but ours aren't wooden anymore. We have to bend them out of metal. So this is like one of your final projects, is you each have to make sort of a wing portion. Correct. Yeah, it's just a piece of the wing, and it takes a really long time. And so they work with a lot of these composite materials. This is actually the project that they will end up doing. They take a mold, they take these different cloth materials, put on a resin, put it into an autoclave, heat it and then uh, under a vacuum sealed environment and then when it's done this is everybody's favorite part the instructor damages it and then the students have to go and repair all the layers wow. uh, uh, of the uh, of the materials and so all of those boards back there are hydraulic simulators what role does hydraulics play in an airplane. I guess the thing that comes to mind is like when the wheel is coming out or something. Oh yeah, like landing gear would be a good example of that. You can see like these connections. We start here and you'll have to work like from here and you go down and you connect them all. That one connects here. And so all these little valves you need to make right. sure everything's connected with right. some sort of tubing. Yes. So you have to bend the tubing and put the fittings on the end and then they'll flip this down and it runs the hydraulics and they're checking for leaks. So if you have a huge geyser, that's not very much not good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so what they do then is after your tubes are good, they're going to damage them. Oh. And they're going to love doing that to you. You love doing that. And they're going to say, fix it. So then you're like, how? And then they give you all the fittings and everything that you need to do to fix it and you stick it back on, test it again to make sure your fittings didn't leak. And what sort of fluid are they running through this? Hydraulic fluid. Gosh, so if it is having a geyser, I mean, that stuff is like really slippery and messy. Yeah, it is messy. Yeah. Was this something you always like wanted to do? Like since you were a kid, were you interested in sort of taking things apart? Oh, yes. I always love taking things apart. I was going to college for mechanical and aerospace engineering, and I could not see myself sitting at a desk all day. That is not who I am. Yeah. And coming here and getting to work hands on with all this stuff has been a dream. Seems like you've learned so much in like, you know, under two years. It's wild. Absolutely. It's crazy. I feel like information just like falls out of me sometimes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the tour. And I'm going to, yeah, think about you every time I'm on an airplane now. Great. <laughs>